today I'm going to be talking about how to get rid of blackheads. Blackheads are a combination of oil, dirt, and dead skin cells that build up in the pore and it oxidizes upon exposure to air, turning it black. So one way to get rid of blackheads is by using beta hydroxy acid or BHA for short and this is also known as salicylic acid. Salicylic acid is oil soluble so it's lipophilic which means oil loving. So because it's oil soluble it's going to concentrate in the oil glands and help unclog pores and therefore get rid of blackheads. So what I've been using is the Polish Choice Skin Perfecting 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. So I'll show you my results after one week and I'll also be updating you after four to six weeks on my progress. One issue you might run into with beta hydroxy acid or salicylic acid is that it can be very drying. So it's very important to moisturize your skin after using this. So after washing your face, you apply this to the area with blackheads and then wait at least 10 minutes and then apply your moisturizer on top. And you want to make sure that you avoid the eye area. Don't apply this to wet skin. That can be very irritating. That goes for any chemical exfoliant. Make sure your skin is dry before you apply it. And if you've never used salicylic acid before, I would suggest trying a patch test behind the ear um, and waiting 24 to 48 hours to make sure you don't have any adverse reaction. You can also use salicylic acid face washes. And it has been shown that just leaving on for that short period of time of washing your face can make a difference in unclogging the pore. So if you find that using the leave-on BHA is too harsh for your skin, you could just use a face wash. However, I have very dry skin and I haven't had any issues with this Paula's Choice BHA liquid exfoliant drying out my skin. I was actually really surprised. That was kind of a reservation I had about using it because my skin is very dry. Typically between four and six weeks is when you'll see the most results when using a beta hydroxy acid or salicylic acid. Okay, so the second way that you can get rid of blackheads is actually by using a clay mask. This can be either a bentonite clay or kaolin clay mask. So I have used bentonite clay masks in the past and it's usually very irritating for my skin. My skin turns very red. If you've experienced that, I have a recommendation for you that's very affordable and that also is going to be very skin soothing. It's from the brand called Inculist. It's the Inculist Kaolin Mask. It's only $6.99. Um, again, it has kaolin clay. So kaolin and bentonite actually draw up oil from within the pore and can help reduce blackheads. It contains centella asiatica, which actually is very soothing. It's been shown to have wound healing properties and it's also anti-inflammatory. It also has chondrus crispus, which is a type of marine extract. It's actually a type of red algae that is very hydrating and also has many antioxidants. It also has sunflower seed oil which is a very nice emollient and so I know at first when you hear that it has an oil like sunflower seed oil you might immediately think oh couldn't that worsen the blackheads or oiliness. Actually sunflower seed oil is actually a very nice emollient for people with oily skin, acne prone skin, people with blackheads because it has a higher concentration of an acid called linoleic acid versus oleic acid. So linoleic acid actually helps balance sebum levels. So it's very emollient and moisturizing, but it actually does help balance sebum levels and it's great for people with oily skin. This one from the Eculus is very gentle and it's very affordable. So I would say if you're on a budget, this would be a really good place to start. And also if you have sensitive skin, this would be a really good place to start because again, the kaolin clay will help clear out the blackheads, but then we have all these other soothing ingredients and it's only, and it's less than $7. So I thought that was a really nice product. And then lastly, another way you can get rid of blackheads is by using retinoids. Uh, these are vitamin A derivatives that have been shown to help reduce blackheads. So the one with the most research to back it up is tretinoin or Retin-A. You do have to get a prescription from a dermatologist to use this one. However, you can get over-the-counter Adapalene, which is goes by the brand name of Differin, um, which also has very promising studies as well. Tretinoin is definitely stronger and has more research to back it up, but different is a nice option for over-the-counter, so that is another option for you. But again, 
Um, again, you can see a dermatologist to get the most powerful strength retinoid, which is tretinoin. And I also just want to say, even if you have oily prone skin, um, it's still very important to wear SPF. I know that a lot of people with oily skin, you know, find it difficult to find an SPF that doesn't feel greasy to them. So I'll link below some suggestions for you if you have oily skin. If you use a retinoid especially, it's going to make your skin more sensitive to UV radiation. But just in general, just make sure that you are protecting your skin from the sun. I just wanted to point that out um, since I did mention the retinoids. But I will, I will be making a video about retinoids in the future. So please let me know if you have any questions that you'd like me to answer. Specifically, I'll be looking at retinols. I'll be looking at tretinoin, uh, differin. So please let me know um, any questions you have about that. So those are my tips for getting rid of blackheads. And again, I've seen really nice results from using the Paula's Choice BHA exfoliant. And again, I will be updating you in a few weeks on my progress over time. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Please subscribe and ring the notification bell if you enjoyed this video. And I hope you have a great day. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark? From so far away, show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of?